This is DuPage Now for Monday, June 30th, 2008. Starting tomorrow, about 14,000 Wheaton addresses will get a new zip code. The new code, 60189, will apply to all addresses south of Roosevelt Road. Everyone on or north of Roosevelt Road will keep the old 60187 zip code. The changes are aimed at making sorting mail easier between Wheaton's two post offices, officials say. There will be a one-year grace period before the new zip code takes full effect. In Westmont, Howard Stewart of Clarendon Hills has been charged with driving under the influence of alcohol after he allegedly hit three parked cars, two of which were occupied, a stop sign, and a shopping cart while driving his 1998 Ford Explorer through the parking lot at Jewel Osco on Ogden Avenue in Westmont. The pedestrian and an occupant of the vehicle that was struck were transported to Advocate Good Samaritan Hospital in Downers Grove. In Bloomingdale, the Park District announced that it has hired a new executive director to succeed longtime leader Steve Shulton, who resigned last month to take a position elsewhere. Carrie Ann Hoppert, who has served as director of Parks and Recreation for the Village of Hinsdale since 2006, has been named the new director of the Bloomingdale Park District. She is expected to start her new job on July 9th. And finally, an Amber Alert has been issued for a missing one-year-old Kenosha, Wisconsin girl. Liliana Torres is described as two, two feet six inches tall with blonde hair and hazel eyes. Police said they are looking for her, the girl's father, 40-year-old Antonio Torres. They believe Torres may be in a 1999 blue-gray Mercury Mountaineer with an Illinois license plate X552596. Anyone with information on the missing girl can call the Kenosha Police Department at 262-605-5200. That was DuPage Now, and we'll see you on Tuesday.